where ghosts never die. It was December 22, 1950. House fire claimed life of colored man in Pineville, North Carolina. Jack Morrow, born 1905, recorded obituary in the Charlotte Observer. The subtitle for this movie, Where Ghosts Never Die, is the blazing sky of December 1950 by Abigail Adams, a.k.a. Abigail Adams Michaels. The story I tell is based on a true story. In 1950, I am a baby. I am one year and six months old. My grandpa is dead. And at that time, as a baby, I said, Papa, one day I'm going to tell you a story. Papa had gone away, and I heard the grown-ups talking about what they say happened to him. Papa was Papa to me. To others, he was Mr. Jack. Plain old Jack Morrow in the town of Pineville. The fireman had a party on the night Papa died. The firemen were drunk, and they couldn't get to the fire in time. But as a baby, I heard people say Papa was already dead. The people who murdered Papa had already cut his body into pieces and set the house on fire. Some of the morticians even talked about Jack Morrow was killed before the fire. They went out and picked up the body parts and put them in the bag. Why had this happened to Papa? Papa just lived next door to some white people. And some people say he had land. But of course, when he died, he didn't have anything. And all the people in the neighborhood were afraid to talk about it. But sometimes I would ask people at the church, do you remember my grandpa, Jack Morrow, at the China Berry Church over Old Pine Road? And they would say, yes, we remember Mr. Jack. Some of the little kids say they were like 10 and 12 years old then. Kids born in 1930 to 1940, they say they remember Mr. Jack. That was my papa. And I always said, one day I'm going to write papa's story. Papa, some people say he was a ghost at the church for years, from 1950 to 1975. He was a ghost. Every Christmas, when they go there for the Christmas program, some people say they were.